sisters and brothers, comrades and friends, I don't think there's anyone here who hasn't heard of the magnificent struggle going on in North Dakota, which has united indigenous nations worldwide as the Ocheti Sakowi, the Lakota, Dakota, Nakota, Great Sioux Nation, fights to protect the mighty Missouri and Mississippi rivers. They're fighting the Dakota Access Pipeline, or DAPL, to defend their sovereignty, their lands, waters, and the lives of future generations. Standing Rock has captured the hearts and minds of many around the world despite the lack of truthful media coverage. Energy Transfer Partners is building DAPL to move millions of gallons of fracked crude oil from the back and oil shale oil fields in western North Dakota under the Missouri River to a pipeline in Illinois to ship to refineries down in the Gulf for export. A Missouri spill would destroy clean water for Standing Rock and the 18 million people downstream all the way to New Orleans. Pipelines corrode, they rupture. Recently, there was a Susquehanna River spill and an Alabama pipeline exploded. Big oil never totally cleans up its spills either, do they? Not from BP Horizon in the Gulf to the Exxon Valdez in Alaska. Though they damage people's health, habitats, and the wildlife, which by the way now faces the sixth extinction event in Earth's history due to global warming and ecological damage. Bismarck rejected the DAPL to protect their city's water, so the racist ETP just moved it downstream to Standing Rock <coughs> over native opposition. In April, women from Standing Rock Reservation established a camp in the path of the proposed pipeline, and youth organized to start running cross-country to build awareness. More and more people began to flood in, and by August, thousands had gathered to take a stand. Women and youth remained very much in leadership. Indigenous peoples from throughout the hemisphere have gone to Standing Rock. The American Indian Movement, Idle No More, Indigenous Environmental Network, and many environmental groups and individuals have mobilized. Delega delegations have included Black Lives Matter, Palestinian students from California, even people from Japan. Maoris in New Zealand are doing their sacred haka dances in solidarity. Mongolians, Bayan, PFLP sent statements of solidarity. Labor activists set up a labor camp. Four international unions and many locals have made solidarity statements. Recently, 500 multi-denominational clergy symbolically burned the 600-year-old doctrine of discovery, which had been used to justify colonial genocide. They shut down the state capitol and were arrested protesting Dalrymple. Water protectors have marched and blocked bulldozers. Some locked themselves to construction equipment and they faced weapons while unarmed to block the pipeline construction. They were tear gassed and maced in waters trying to protect Turtle Island, swimming to, to protect the grave sites there where the police, National Guard, and the mercenaries had set up a military headquarters. The governor responded with a military mobilization of sheriffs, police, cops from other states, and the National Guard, along with DAPL's hired mercenaries, including G4S. Peaceful water protectors have been surrounded for weeks by soldiers and riot gear clad cops, cell tower blockers, nonstop surveillance flights overhead, and the public highways are blockaded. Water protectors have been beaten, bitten by attack dogs, tear gassed, pepper sprayed, shot with rubber bullets, injured by criminal use of the LRAD sound cannons, arrested, brutalized while praying, strip searched, numbered, held in dog kennels, women and elders had the, had, have had their clothes stripped off and one woman was left naked in a jail cell overnight. All their possessions were, were just taken and then when they brought them back, they dumped them on the ground, soiled. National Guard snipers have threatened the, the defenders. They even killed a man's horse. They've bulldozed sacred sites, rare historical and burial sites. And you know corrupt state politicians, including Governor Dalrymple, invested in this pipeline, and Trump's an investor too. Despite confusion in the corporate media, the water defenders and their supporters' camps are all on unceded treaty lands. These are not private lands, they're stolen lands and water. Under the 1851 Treaty of Fort Laramie, the, a little bit too close, 
Ocheti Sakowi lands are bounded by the Missouri River to the east, but they encompass half of South Dakota and large areas of North Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Montana. Millions of acres were stolen by settlers and the U.S., including the most fertile agricultural land that's now flooded under Lake Oahe. That was the farmland for uh, Standing Rock and the Cheyenne River Reservation. The U.S. Constitution declares a treaty, which is an agreement between two nations, to be the quote-unquote supreme law of the land. The Indian treaties are constitutionally the law of the land. All these lands are Indian country. It's Great Turtle Island. In addition, the Supreme Court ruled that lands set aside for a reservation imply American Indian water rights, known as Federal Reserved Water Rights. Federal agencies, such as the Army Corps of Engineers, are mandated to have meaningful consultation with Native nations before signing off on any land or water use permits. Consultation requires an environmental study, exploration of Native sacred sites and graves. Standing Rock wasn't consulted. The DAPL must complete this project by December 31 of this year. They're 90% there. They don't have the permit to drill under the Missouri River yet, but they stated on Tuesday that they will go ahead and drill under the river without it. They've got their drill box in place, and I forget the name of the stuff, but they've surrounded it with this type of military protective wall that, that the U.S. uses around bases. The contract to build this pipeline was based on a 2014 price of $70 to $80 a barrel for crude oil, but it's dropped by like something like half since then, and overproduction has thin profit margins. If it's not complete by December 31, ETP has to renegotiate. They might not make $8 a barrel. And President Obama's Department of Justice said Thursday that an announcement is coming soon for a DAPL quote unquote path forward at Oahe. Dalrymple's military mobilization in coordination with DAPL's mercenaries, this is an act of war, sisters and brothers. A governor has no right to declare war. He should be in jail right now. along with Governor Snyder. Clean water is a human right from Flint to Standing Rock. We don't need more fossil fuels. We demand President Obama revoke all the permits now and the Dakota Access Pipeline and free the Leonard Peltier while you're at it. And one more point. I'd like, I'd, like to, I'd like us all to thank those of us those of us who have, um, who have been able to represent the rest of us who weren't able to go to Standing Rock, please, with the party delegation, Lamont, Lilly, and the rest of you, and anyone else who's gone to Standing Rock or is making plans to go, please stand up. Thank you. Lago. Lamia. Everybody, fists up. Repeat after me. Mani. Wichoni. Mini, Mini. Wichoni. Wichoni. Water is life. Water is life.